Hi, I'm Nikki Miller from The School Guide and here are our top stories. George Watson's College have announced that Mr Melvin Roffey, currently Principal of Wymondon College in Norfolk, will become Principal of George Watson's College on the retirement of current Principal Gareth Edwards in August 2014. A new independent school opened in Edinburgh's new town and now nearly a year on the school says it's going from strength to strength and so are its pupils. Basil Patterson College has extended its educational reach by opening a middle school for pupils in S3 and S4, providing GCSE and international GCSE tuition. The school says its small class sizes are helpful to pupils who thrive in a small environment and where their individual achievements can be recognised. Kidscene is a new after-school and a holiday club based at the Royal Blind School in Edinburgh. The school is the only provider of childcare in the UK that has a reverse integration model. They aim to have a mixture of children with and without disabilities enjoying their excellent facilities, including a swimming pool, a soft play area, sensory garden and excellent outdoor play areas. Kidscene are also running an after-school bus to pick up from local schools in Brunsfield and Morningside where pupils from all schools are welcome to be dropped off. George Herrett's senior boys football team claimed the Scottish Independent Schools Association Cup on Friday the 24th of May. Beating Stuart Smelville's College 2-1 at Hearts Tynecastle Stadium places Herrett's as the most successful independent school in Scotland with victories in 2002, 2005, 2008 and again in 2013. A new survey has indicated most parents would like to buy their children's school uniform through their school's website. The Clan House 2013 customer survey found that 76% of parents that participated indicated this would be helpful. A Clan House spokesman said, We already have this in place with a number of schools, both independent and state, and are in discussions to roll this out to more in the near future. Those were our top stories. Keep checking in online for our next Between Classes news. And why not follow me on Twitter 